Hey, welcome back to the Ping Pong Flick Show. My name is Chris Wong. Aquaman continues to destroy the box office. It had brought in 14.7 million international Wednesday for Aquaman. International total now at 623.5 million, pushing global box office up to a fantastic 846.3 million will crack 850 or has already cracked pretty much 850 million already it's going to speed past 900 million dollars this saturday this is coming from gitesh pandia uh, amazing unstoppable train it's 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 going to crack a billion it's going to be like 1.1 now they're thinking it's still increasing so wow awesome be the top 10 uh hopefully i mean like i think the top 10 is still like black Black Panther, but imagine it going to like 1.3 or something. It would knock out Black Panther. It would be in the top 10 DC. Uh, well, no, actually a top 10 uh, billion dollar club, if you will, uh, all of all time. So it would be an incredible achievement for Aquaman and for the DCEU. In fact, even uh, Henry Cavill had high praise. Uh, he he tweeted, he Instagrammed this out funny picture just him in the water with a fork and uh totally praising uh, jason momoa he says channeling the man of the hour the man of big hugs big laughs and big pints of guinness my man jason momoa how'd i do seriously though i was just finally got the chance to watch aquaman here in hungary uh jason james and everyone involved in that movie smashes it it out of the water park if you haven't seen it yet go check it out jason love you bro you crushed it uh pride of gypsies says thank god you were already pride of gypsies is aquaman by the way uh or jason Moore. i call him aquaman he said um uh thank you thank god you were already casted for superman i'd be out of a job love you brother mahalo for the support uh, Creepy Puppet, who is James Wan, says, Ha ha, love it, thank you, and Henry Cavill. So um, it, it's a fantastic love for uh, the Justice League members here, Superman, totally giving high praise to Aquaman. Really cool. He's shipping him. <laughs> so it's really cool to see that. I, I really hope this actually kind of secures it even more that Henry Cavill is still Superman. Until Warner Brothers or somebody else other than scoopers and bloggers says that he's not Superman I'm not gonna believe it until they release or even talk about a Superman film right but in any case uh, James Wan man uh, incredible achievement uh, with with uh, Aquaman and and there's got to be something you said this this whole thing about the the vfx the the actual visual effects is so incredible and awesome uh and it's an incredible imax uh, uh gr you know grand fiasco it's it's really awesome when you go and watch this in theaters and uh something along the lines of like avatar and stuff like that and you wonder it's got to be in the running for the uh, Oscars, right? Uh, no, but so Kevin McLean, I think that's the name, Kelvin McLean, uh, says, congrats, James. It was such an honor to be part of this creative endeavor and to work with you again. Cheers. James Wan replies, Kelvin McLean, Kelvin, you and your department are the unsung heroes of this film. The fact that your visual effects peers in the academy aren't recognizing or appreciating appreciating what we you've all contributed to the film at cinema is a fucking disgrace okay so kevin mcwillian uh it says i'm with you james it was a complete shock to everyone that we are not in the final 10 films that will be presenting at the uh, academy of vfx bake-off the selection process is very flawed in my opinion and too open to influence so completely hundred percent agree the academy you botched this one let you want to know who was in the who was in the running you want to know the short list of films okay here we go ant-man and the wasp avengers infinity war black panther christopher robin first man jurassic world fallen kingdom marin po mary poppins returns ready player one solo a star wars story 
Welcome to Marwin is all on this list. And I'm like, what? How can, when you watch these films and you watch Aquaman, how can you not say Aquaman deserves to be on this list? Are you out of your mind, uh, 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 Academy? You're out of your goddamn mind. It's a, it is a, such a disgrace. It's, it's the reason why I don't even watch Oscars anymore. I don't tune into Oscars anymore because it's a goddamn disgrace, and uh, I think uh, I'm totally passing out on this. It's I know it's just an award and things like that, but it means so much to these creators. It means so much to these creative teams who work so hard. Could this have some goddamn recognition? I, it's just so fucking stupid. Anyway, rant over, but... Uh, Terrible, terrible mistake, Academy. Very bad. So, um, anyway, so, yeah, Aquaman deserves a lot better, but at least in the box office, it's, it's making a complete killing, and everybody's going to get paid big bucks. And more importantly, it, it could mean a better future for the DCEU. Now, we haven't gotten too much things lately for the DC Extended Universe. Uh, we know uh, Shazam is coming up. That's exciting. Birds of Prey is pr going to production soon. We've got Joker this year, so we can finally know what the heck kind of movie that is and where does it fit if at all in any type of timeline or what they're saying is true it's just some kind of one-off thing who knows at this moment and what else is going to happen any more announcements and stuff like that and we've all talked about how uh with uh, aquaman making uh going to make a billion dollars there could be some great news for the dcu eu uh, that's coming and it appears so because uh daniel rpk had uh tweeted out today that there's he's gonna there's gonna be a dropping a dceu scoop this saturday um jeremy conrad all also confirms things hold on to your butts and i don't want to get too excited because they've been wrong in some ways and but then right in a lot of ways um they were kind of kind of botched the avengers trailer when that's going to come out but it eventually did come out pretty soon so i don't know but it also the type of news right so he says dceu he also when someone asked if it was batman related he shot that this is not batman related but he can say he wasn't superman related but at the same time i'm like is it gonna be a sig significant someone said asked him should we be excited or scared? He said excited. So it is good news, but how big of a good news? I mean, is it going to be Plastic Man? And I just tweeted out a joke. It's it's going to be like people are going to be expecting Superman, Wonder Woman, and all this type. And then the, the news comes out. So we're going to make a Star Boy movie. And we're going to be like, whoa, who? <laughs> you know? So it's like um, my Star Boy does exist in the DC uh, universe. But I, I, I'm just... I'm just trying to not get too excited, but at the same time, very curious what's going to happen this Saturday. What type of news, if at all, if any, anything that's really interesting about it, uh, or maybe they, uh, you know, one of my guesses is going to be like Birds of Prey, right? It goes in production. Uh, my other guess is because Aquaman industry is saying it's going to reach a billion dollars. It's it's a far gone conclusion. I'm I'm expecting they're gonna announce like Aquaman sequel, Aquaman two, you know something with Aquaman. James Wan's gonna make up another Aquaman, or James Wan has another project up his sleeve. He's gonna do something else. Um, but you know if you want to put the tin foil hat on just for a little short little while, um. On Vero, okay, we, we've already seen this from uh, Thiago uh, Caselli. He, he he had put this up, I, I talked about this, where he put up a picture of four to Superman for Tomorrow comic, and then he, he pretty much, uh, this is so much of a DC Comics to be explored and adapted, and Zack Snyder agrees to that. Now, that doesn't mean anything, but yeah, you know, well, it's kind of interesting. Why don't we, um, but, um, Ramesh, though, he posted this picture of Henry Cavill in what is the armor suit that Jor-El wore in Man of Steel. Now he didn't put in the title Man of Steel 2. Now he did, but he did put down in the com in the the little quote. He says, "I hope for a hashtag Man of Steel 2 announcement directed by Zack Snyder." Release the Snyder cut, 
and Zack Snyder liked it. So that could mean anything. He could look at that. He just looked at the picture and like, yeah, I like that. That's cool. That's interesting. That kind of looks like Man of Steel. Um, and the, you know, I like his artwork. Didn't read the comment. Not agreeing to the comment, but uh, agreeing to the picture. Sure. But Tinfoil had territory, right? We did see him go to the comic book store uh, and actually look through the com maybe look through the comics. Did he buy something? Is he just gonna look for a comic? He's like, you know, I want to go see some comics, but you know, gladly took a picture in front of a role what appears to be like Superman on the right side. And so I don't know. What if he's doing it? What if Jim Lee is giving him the opportunity to do the Man of Steel 2? It's going to be divisive, you know, to be quite honest. When the uh, when in terms of critics and all of this, it's going to be divisive. But it's the it'll be an incredible dream for him to continue or at least maybe in a way finish the trilogy that he started justice league withstanding have jim lee is making him an offer to make and finish his trilogy where superman is becomes superman like henry cavill superman comes superman uh without the mustache or without the lip gate and and it'll be man of steel 2 maybe you even get to tell the story of supergirl within man of steel 2 now i know you're thinking man of steel 2 is pretty much batman v superman i know that you know that we all know that what we want is a superman standalone of outside of that connectivity like his own new adventure if you will uh and uh I, i'll be so it would be so amazing if that were to happen tinfoil hat on of course it might not happen uh the other suggestions was about the release of snyder cut right we're talking about the snyder cut and uh stephen colbert and Film Junkie put out a video. I encourage you to check those two out. Uh, Stephen Colbert goes a little bit further. There are different ways. The release of Snyder Cut is not going to go away, it seems. And he suggests that the studio will have to answer to it. will have to address it sooner or later. And there are several ways they could do it. First, the actual film, release the, the, the Snyder Cut film. Yes, that would be, that'll be perfect. Perfect. Uh, the other thing is uh, uh, what they call, what do you call a Snyder Cut light? And where there is, you know, there's still the unfinished VFX and stuff like that. Um, uh, but that's it's okay. We want to see that too. The other ones he suggests is a little bit broader. Um, one is the animated movie. The animated, uh, they're going to put it in an animated form, uh, suggesting Jay Oliva, how he did the Dark Knight uh, Returns, or even the other guys who are doing the Death of Superman, Reign of Superman right now. That will be incredible. We get to actually see it in motion. It's not as the same as actually seeing the Snyder Cut, of course. But if we want to hear that story. And because it's already an animated move, why don't we just do the entire five-part arc that he really intended? Which, by the way, is not the Snyder Cut, by the way. That that idea died like around Bat Batman v Superman, okay? So just letting you know that now. That idea died. But, um, but if... He, we could see that later on you know maybe they make a graphic novel a, a, a five-part series of comic books which is suggested by film junkie and Stevie and colbert how they could actually make Zack snyder's five part arc into some type of physical form for us to look at and appreciate and tell the studios you should have made this movie it would have made make us a little bit more mad you know make one else but i'd rather see it in motion but in in any case i know the snyder cut is not the five foot point arc what if we have both of them can we have the five the, the snyder cut and like a five film part arc in some kind of comic book or graphic novel or an animated movie uh, from Jay Oliva, I would totally dig any of those and anything. At least one will support the other. And if they think that they could just release the book, I guarantee you, it's not going to be the end of it. They can address it with a book and people, fans are going to be looking at that like, why can't we get the snack cut? Why can't we, you know, it don't want to actually fuel the flame for the actual cut. So, and vice versa if that came out, I don't know. But 
I think uh, a lot of people would en enjoy actually watching something, but I would take the the graphic novel as well. I would definitely want to see the original or original, the one that Jay Olivia said they worked on but scrapped uh, before all this Joss Whedon thing has even happened. So uh, I would love it. Five film, film are, uh, well, not the five film. That would be a dream, but it's not going to be like that. It's going to be the five arc part uh graphic novel or animation uh, it's, it's it's a little bit more budget than just a graphic novel but any case we'll hopefully we'll know soon enough what all of this means right uh what if what scoop that's coming uh this saturday which i'm kind of excited for very curious to see what happens with that uh aquaman's gonna make it a billion plus uh it's an incredible time to be dceu fan and the same motion we want to thank Thank Charlie, and we we did a whole villa. He he uh, got a whole bunch of us fans to participate in a video to a uh, to th a thank you video to Jason Momoa uh, for being Aquaman, for being the characters, for bringing Aquaman to life and things like that, and also for calling out that he wants to see the Snyder Cut and and championing the Snyder Cut. Well, we we give him a lot of appreciation in that video, so I'll put that uh, link that video in the link in the description. Uh, below uh, so thank you Charlie uh, also Mick D wanted to tell us everybody and it's already online he's created a new online survey which can now share across all platforms I'll put the link in here down in the description below this is for you uh, for whoever has the desire to see the Snyder Cut on the big screen. Uh, it's got some questions in there, very short, and, and uh, I encourage you to check that out. Uh, there's there's a ton of like 600 people who already uh, took that survey. Please go and take that survey. So we, c I think he's gonna bring that up to Warner Bros. I'm not sure what that what he's gonna do with it. Sounds pretty cool, hopefully, to show that we're very, it's, it's gonna be an impact. How much you are willing to sacrifice not in like sacrifice your body or anything but like sacrifice your time and your money um to spend on seeing the Snyder Cut in the theater how much you really want it so be uh, go and and fill out that survey uh, make sure you check that out he's also got a new fan art t-shirt for the uh, American Foundation for Suicide Prevention for 2019 dedicated to all the Spartans of the release of Snyder Cut move-ins it's a uh, Snyder Spartans this is the 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 uh, picture here's going to be a link below this is uh, created by the awesome awesome Ramesh De Silva I have used some of his pictures in my thumbnails he's an incredible it's incredible what he's doing for the he also made by the one uh, the Superman one and that I just talked about so incredible artist uh, I'm glad he's with us and uh, um, he, you can tell he's incredible I mean he, Clay Annals and Zach likes his stuff it's it's really cool um, so this is as strong where it's 2019 we're still united the release of Snyder Cut movie is still going strong at the same time we can still appreciate the other DCEU films that are coming out so get ready I think uh, Storm's coming yeah it's coming soon. All right, guys. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.